Hey everybody, Barry here again. So, for all the new subscribers, welcome. Thanks for subscribing and checking out the channel. Um, as of right now, I think I got like uh, 120 videos. And they're all full length videos like this. So, if you want to just see what we're all about and stuff, go back and check it out. See if you like it. Stick around. So I figured out I'm going to go with the 243 heads. That'll keep the compression down. It'll still going to have an abundance of power. The fan's not really that heavy. I think it's like... 4,000 pounds or something and uh, with the rear-wheel drive it'll be perfectly happy with that in there we're still going to pay you to make um, 9.6 maybe 9.7 on with that and when I get the turbo on there it'll be extra happy so let's go ahead and pull these out best part about aluminum heads you'd never do this with a small block head So here we go, this is what we have. These are 243s, two inch intake valves. And you can see, first thing I'm gonna do is port these because that is puny. Um, I'm just gonna run uh, the reamer in around here. I'll put a bolt on an exhaust gasket and leave about a 16th of an inch for the pipe diameter and ream the hole out that much bigger because that's uh, that's a lot of flow and a lot of obstruction, especially when the port diameter doesn't match the pipe diameter. You got a hard edge here that's gonna cause some swirling and stuff, and that's not gonna work very well. So let's go ahead and take the valves out and get some porting done. There we go. All the valves are out. I'm not really concerned about keeping them in matching pairs and stuff because I gotta soak and clean all the valves. Get some of this old carbon and stuff off of here where the DOD was failed. And clean everything up. I'm gonna lap the valves for whatever cylinder or whatever port they go in anyway. So it doesn't matter which one came out of where. And I'll bag everything up, make sure it's not gonna get lost or anything. Now let's check out our ports, see how much we gotta remove. I just realized how ironic it is that I painted this engine plum crazy purple before I even had any plans to put it in the caravan. It's kind of funny. Well, we'll see you soon. Right now, we're gonna do some porting. You'd think that in all this pile of LS stuff that I'd have an old set of exhaust gaskets laying around, but I don't. But I do have intake gaskets. So let's start there. And right here we can see that our ports do not line up at all. The stock castings are trash. So I'll go ahead, line these up, make sure they're nice and straight, and I'll mark it and then port match these intake sides first. We can see where our gasket lines up and we can see the line of where the gasket has a print on it. And look at the difference in that. That's like a quarter inch or more. That is awful. Let's fix it up. A lot of people like to use a blue marker because it shines up really, really well on the aluminum, but I just don't have one, so let's use a Sharpie. Still give us the same effect. I just might have to color it in a little bit more as I go. Looks like we'll be fine with the sides and the bottom. They all line up really well. It's just the tops that are a problem. And you can see just how much we need to remove. It looks like these three ports are not quite as bad as this one, but it's really not lined up. What I'm gonna be doing here is just port matching. 
I'm not going right on into the port and trying to open it up at all. Just match the gasket surface and the intake to the cylinder head. So all I got to do is run it and come down until we get to this taper and just kind of make it nice and straight and smooth so it's not a big uh, curve or anything like that and it just make it nice and laminar. And we'll flatten out this little bit of a bump here. Shouldn't take very long because this aluminum moves really nicely. And this is what I'm going to be using. This is a, car a carbide burr bit. Works really, really well with aluminum. You just got to go back and keep cleaning it out because sometimes it will get plugged up. Just a quick look while we're here. Let me turn off this light. Here we go. So we can see that it's really starting to clean up a lot. So I got it reamed right up around to where our edge is. I didn't want to go over, so I left a little bit of a little bit of black there. Now all I need to do really is calm down this hump right here and just smooth it out some. I don't want to go too far up into the roof because there's not a lot of meat up here and I don't want to risk breaking through. Not that I don't think I will because I'd say it's probably a quarter inch thick, but I don't want to I don't want to push it too much. So yeah, just clean up this area and it's already starting to get a nice radius to it. It's not straight. So I think we'll be fine. I'm gonna take some more off of this right here and then go on and do the other four. And then I'd say I'll probably just go on and do this side also while I'm here. This is tedious work, and a lot of people argue that it's not worth it at all. You don't pick up any power. Uh, you don't need an boost, or it hurts power, but I always like to do it anyway. That's stuff that I've done since my small block days, and I don't seem to have lost any power. <laughs> I've done fourth gear burnouts on the highway in rat rods, so, you know, it can't hurt. Cylinder head's kind of dancing around on me, so I had to put a car battery on it. We got one port pretty much done. We can see that it's a lot cleaner looking now. A lot smoother, no real hard edge like this one. Now you wanna do this with no valves in it because look, it's a lot of metal to be having floating around in your engine. So that'll allow you to get the chambers nice and clean, get the cylinder bore nice and clean. So we'll go on and get the other ones done. I just realized something. I have a perfect imprint of where it needs to be ported. From all the soot and exhaust garbage left behind. Obviously I don't need to port out to where it's shiny here, just where there's soot left behind. That's major, 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 major porting needs to be done there. This should be fun. Here we go with 
one part done. It looks a lot better. Nice and flowing curve on it. You know, I'm not going for a massive, huge, you know, CNC port or anything. I just really want to clean up the hard edge. Because you can see that this is completely flat. Makes a 90 degree, goes into the port. And right here, we come out, and it's got a nice flowing curve. That way, there won't be any drag at the edge of the port right here, having a swirling. Almost like the roof of the pickup. Going into the pan of a pickup, you always got a low pressure area there. So we don't want that. We want a nice flowing curve. So that's pretty much what I'm hoping to accomplish here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up all the ports off camera because I got a lot of hours left on this and I'm just gonna go ahead and burn through it. I just wanted to show, you know, one intake port, one exhaust port, just to get the idea and not bore everybody with doing this like 16 times because it's necessary. <laughs> So after that, maybe I'll go on and lap the valves. So first I was using this drill. And then I was like, I got something better than that. This... <laughs> now we're gonna remove some metal. Finally got them done. Like three, four hours worth of work. My wrists feel like they're gonna break and my hands are gonna fall off and I'm I got aluminum everywhere, but we're done. So here we go. Everything's all nice and cleaned up. I didn't go opening up the ports, a big pile. I didn't want to do that. Mainly just wanted to make sure that the runners were smooth. I got a little bit spicy with the burr and kind of got away from me a little bit there, but that's nothing serious. And, uh, Got the intake ports done. The only bit that was out of line with the gasket was up at the top, which is kind of scary because that's where the injector fires, like directly through the top here. So I didn't want, you know, spray hitting the hard edge right here, just kind of going everywhere. That would be counterproductive. So I didn't have to touch anything down here. That was all lined up perfectly. The exhaust ports were major. So my next step now is gonna to be to clean this up really, really well. Put in new, uh, sorry, put in new seals and lap the valves. The seats look really, really nice. Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with them, but I always like to lap them anyway. So I'm gonna finish up here for tonight. Go ahead and get cleaned up and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good night.